All right. Uh, let's see. So we're good to go, I think. Yeah. Always got to make sure I've hit the recording button. So I'm just going to go directions. And if it turns out to be the wrong way, then we come back. And that's just going to be how I work it. Oh, right. We never actually went into this fragmented passage. My legs ache, but at last they can rest. We are two days' journey from the nearest city, and the trickle of water sets me at ease. I begin to set up camp. Yeah, I, I never actually went into this portal because uh, we were capped out on map bits. I think I'm just probably going to remain capped out on map bits. Oh, you know what? You can also kind of manually check, depending on where the, uh... Depending on where the exit is. Oops. Well, that was fast. That's fine. So if it doesn't fit the, uh... The direction you need to go, you can actually just bail and come back. That's actually a decent system. So you should have access to an OST, OST download if you've bought a supporter pack in the past. Not sure if it's updated in the newest music, though. Uh, let's see. I think you only got the one recently. Uh, yeah, I only ever bought one supporter pack. Oh, it was like a month ago? No, it was for the last, uh... It was for the last league. I was originally planning on uncovering the last league, but... Just awful timing. So... This is my... This is my, like, well, I'm gonna get it done this time around. Dang it. Sometimes you just have to kind of push through. Let's see. That's not better, unfortunately. Let's see, can't drop that off there. These things go, there they go. I'm just gonna kinda put these here. Betrayal League would have sucked as a league mechanic to jump headfirst into with no knowledge. Synthesis is far better. I, well that's good. I heard decent things about Betrayal, but I think it's more of like an endgame thing if I'm not mistaken. See, Delve would have been nice to drop into. Uh, was Delve like a infinite? Uh, was it like some kind of infinite dungeon crawler situation? Let's see. Let's go up here. It's a door I know, and no matter what, we'll hit some kind of end this way. See, if you go to the Path of Excel website, home my account digital downloads. All right. Uh, I'll have to double check. The insides of this spell. I can't abide housework. Okay. I don't know. I... I like these games. And, yeah, I might actually do another league at some point. I think the next time I do this, though, it will be like, go, 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 go as fast as you possibly can, reach the end. Uh, just insane insane run or something like that because that's this is really pretty by the way I'm gonna put the mini map away I can figure it out I like how we're just being accosted by statues naked statues oh bad memories I've told this story a billion times but as a kid my mother was like hey you know it'd be great let's go to a statue museum I was like okay but I was like 10 or younger. I don't really remember how old I was. However, uh, for a lot of these statues, if you notice, they're on pedestals. And then naked. Which puts some dongers right about uh, eye height. Uh, for... Dongers at about eye height for, for kids. That was a that was an unfun discovery, to be totally honest. Yeah, these statues are straight up naked. Luckily, you can't really see the details, so I don't have to worry about it for Twitch. Or YouTube, honestly. Let's see, you can beat the story in three hours, but only with Twink Gear and a party of people getting portals ready. That actually sounds really funny. Uh, we should, 
Maybe not the next league. I don't know. At some league, if you guys want to carry my sad ass all the way to the end game that way, that would be pretty fun. There are dongers in the end. Tada's in loading. I haven't seen them yet, but maybe I just haven't been paying attention. Hopefully YouTube doesn't give a hoot. If I haven't noticed them, the most people probably haven't. I'm pretty sensitive to those. Then again, I'm the guy... Oh, hey, th thank you, Variant Keegan, for the sub. Let's see. You want to use Flame Sentinels from Solaris Templar Monsters. You want to use Ray Spectre on. They're good ranged attackers. I probably have passed on that, and I should probably, I should probably go find out where to get Ray Spectre from, because I should have access to it at this point. So you'll be overly crippled in the end game because of the penalty lost if you're carried too much. Fair point. I don't know. I guess really the alternative is just do uh, an opening league night with a bunch of people that know what they're doing. Go... Uh, just go like full speed. I... Look, I haven't even beaten this game yet. And I'm just... I'm just like spitballing bad ideas because that's what I do. That is my job. Okay, you get Ray Spectre from the Sever, Sever the Right Hand quest as a reward. Sweet! we got to find the Ebony Barracks, which I don't know where... That's probably further in, or that was probably the other direction. Either or. Hello, statues. <laughs> I like it when you kill the statues, they suddenly become inanimate. You know, usually enemies go, like, complete limp noodle. In this game, it's the complete opposite, which is actually really amusing. So it's the next zone after you do temple stuff. Rad. Let's see. I feel bad that I'm not summoning my skeletons here, but they just don't last long enough. And the fact that I have to sit there just constantly summoning them is kind of a pain. That is a butt. Oh shoot. Which game was I playing recently? Oh right! Devil May Cry had the weird like goop boobs that I don't know if I have to edit or not. I don't know. I, game developers are kind of playing fast and loose with uh, with ratings sometimes, and it's annoying for me because I have no idea how much effort I need to do, put into, you know, editing it so young children don't get their first, uh, first look at a willy for, of their lives. I don't know, whatever. Hello, lady. What the? I'm sorry. You are not a cockroach. Strange. Inundated with cockroaches, I am. Black ones, four limbs, nasty, spiky things. Are you spiky? If so, my ribbons will pluck your spines. Malachi liked spines. Liked my spine. Pretty spine. Bejeweled and bountiful. Enough to make an empire weep. Do you weep, not a cockroach? I do. Tears are infinite. Why, on this very day, I found a new reason to cry. What is that you have? Not a cockroach. My ribbon spool. Those black ones wanted them, my ribbons. Wanted to wrap the city in black ribbons. Now they are my ribbons forevermore. Forevermore. I hate forever. I could tear happy ever after from bards bleeding tongues. You're still here, not a cockroach. Oh. Gratitude, yes. I should give you a token. Token? What token? This? Is this to your liking? Hey, so extra rarity of items found. I mean, that's kind of appreciated. The cockroaches will come again. They want the twist. That cockroach emperor. The other bugs shout his name. 
Ravisius. Cross the river, squash the Emperor Cockroach in his nest. The bridge? It is barricaded. That spawns a tricky question. Questions. Questions. I asked too many questions. She has told me so. I asked where it all went. Our... feculents. He made them show me. Under the river. The sewers from this side to that. Filthy, fetid tunnels like Aurora's cloaca. A black place. Crawling with the undying. Once beautiful and arrogant gemlings. Now the foul waste of the Empire. Fitting, isn't it? Apt. 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 I like you, not a cockroach. I like that you listen. It would annoy me if the undying murdered you. Dormetic sulfite. That's what you need. You have some already. You are a resourceful umbug now, aren't you? Give it to me. I was all eyes and ears when Malachi worked. I will make something of your formetic sulfite. I will forge an infernal talc that will bring the most furious of light to the undying darkness. A dash of arcanity, a pinch of insanity, a whisper of profanity, and the infernal talc is now ready. Okay. It's the most explosive of powders. A sprinkle. The gentlest of dustings of infernal talc will provoke gems to a molten rage, but the undying, the very sun, will rise within their flesh. <laughs> they will burn for their sins, not a cockroach. They will burn. I loved Malachi. He gave me gems, divine jewels for his gemling queen, for his dead queen. But I didn't want me dead. Malachi begged. For him, for the Empire. I chose me. Selfish me. The Empire died, and I live. I live, and live, and live, and live. I was the Emperor's favorite for a time. But Chittus had many favorites. He filled the scepter of God with favorites. Every now and then, he cleared away the clutter. Those who pleased him, they were given to his lords and generals. Those who did not, were given to his thaumaturgists. I talked too much, asked too many difficult questions. I was gifted to Malachi. My dear, troubled Malachi. Goodbye. Onwards! Uh, let's see, we... Oh, hello. Pretty as porcelain, but her mouth spins like the potter's wheel. That's how I once described Diala. Yet on this day, my lady is as ravishing as a nightmare, radiant as the fullest moon. Diala is my gemling queen, and we shall rule side by side over the world that will soon come to be. We got the three point right, yeah. Okay. She is interesting, and apparently she's the gemling queen that we were sent here to destroy, which we uh, most definitely did not. I awoke, feverish and barely conscious. I set to drawing these maps through the sable hours. By morning, my fingers ached, my eyes burned, yet still I found no rest. The reverie commanded its rendering. The reverie device now stands completed. I've placed the first of my maps within its receptacle. I've taken my maiden voyage into Nightmare. I know now that which sent me this precious gift. It knows me, expects my return. It would be foolish to disappoint. Malachi. Okay, we got Cold Damage Rank 1 and Malachi's Journal. Tear down the walls that imprison the mind. That is what the gems do. That is their true virtue. The moment my fingertips brushed the cool, silken planes of that first gem, I felt it. My skull ached as if its contents were growing, pressing against the bone, searching for a way to break free. That night, 
Once the wine had dulled the pain enough to allow the onset of sleep, the dreams began. I have not been without them since. Nor would I be. Every spark of thaumaturgy that I wield, every device that I forge, every creature that I transfigure, I owe to these lessons cloaked in nightmare. From whence do these precepts hail? Certainly not the mundane grey between my ears. I possess only one reference that bears faith. Translated with unquestionable clarity by that idiot savant, Isius Perandus, the beast. Dulyani of the Val knew the truth. Soon now, so shall I, Malachi. So the thing that drives everybody mad, he's cavorting with to find out stuff. Radio. I don't think there's anything else for me to do. So fiery dust. Oh, that'll get rid of the the undying butthole. Let's go. Let's go destroy the. Uh, let's go destroy the undying butthole. I don't insert gems into people. Yup. Hello, butthole. It doesn't like fire. I was kind of hoping there would be like the rest of the beast that you burned up. Oh well. Onwards. Okay. So where do we go? We gotta go. We gotta go kill Gravicius. Gravicius. Let's see. We also gotta find the Imperial Gardens, but I don't know where those are. So I'm just gonna keep wandering around until we get remotely close. I mean, honestly, this game is relatively linear. Holy crap! That's a bunch, and they're all dead. On one hand, it seemed really impressive. On the other hand, it really wasn't. Okay. Uh Sever to the right sever the right hand, find the thing, defeat the undead black guard near the rune cart. Uh I shouldn't be here. But I'm gonna do it anyway. Okay, so we'll clear this area first. What are these? Avian wretches. Ugh. Tronk. Let's see. Anything else here? Mostly just these guys. I... I think this is a secondary area? I wonder if it's just, like, extremely dense. It's certainly a maze. Hello. I guess I might as well summon some skeletons. It's not like I really have... And it's gone. Emperor's luck. Nope. Get out of here, hulking titan. <laughs> you are... You're not of any interest to in me. I'm liking my zombies. I, I'm liking this build. I was originally kind of worried going into this. Uh, you know, at the end of yesterday... Finding out that the skeletons I had to resummon every single time I got into any fight. That doesn't really work great with this kind of gameplay, to be totally honest. At least, not for me. Because uh, I, I don't really want to keep resummoning skeletons every single time I get into an area. Uh, same thing with those, those elemental spirits or whatever. Plum. Let's see. But the idea of uh, of summoning things when I when I hit enemies that I can get behind. I'm sure it's I'm wrong, and then I'm gonna actually have to be running around manually summoning things left and right. Eh. I'm gonna wait. Oh, oh, let's see. Was it Epsilon Rose? I don't know if you're still around. Was it, was it you that was talking about? Um, 
decent Diablo clones. Uh, the other one that I have, uh, I should probably mention that I want to do a series on is, uh, Victor Vran is pretty good, from what I remember. A li I think that one's hand designed, actually, to go back to the, um, to that topic. But I want to do a series on that one someday. I might take Shell in on that. Maybe, I don't know. Probably not this game, just because it's kind of dense and long and requires a lot of, like, extra effort. Yeah, and then there's... Okay, someone had asked about that. Oh, right, it was probably Veritalucins. Or... maybe... I don't know, there's like a bu <laughs> there's a bunch of V-named people, and I get them kind of mixed up sometimes. I get a lot of people mixed up if I'm not paying full attention, the world is changing unfortunately. In dark and subtle ways around us as I run. My arms burn from the weight of my young children. The sun is turning blood red, and there's only one place of safety I can imagine. Let's see. Let's grab the thing. Yeah, there's there's a lot of decent Diablo likes out there, and I I need to make some kind of master list with a master checklist to go through and just finish them off. There's also the Van Helsing series. I so I've heard I've also heard they got terrible reviews. Like they were really bad buggy messes. And so it's like it's tentatively on the list. Of, like, things I'd like to cover, but worryingly, you know, kind of low because of the, uh, because of the reviews, I guess. As a giant mana flask. Ample giant flask. Not bad. That one's even better, though. I to find another one. Oh, that. Mm. Nah. Get rid of this. Move this here. We get the plum. Move this over. Move this over. Move this here. Move this down, and we can grab the royal bow. Never mind. Uh, how much more can we shift around? A considerable amount. Perfect. This game seems really relaxing and fun. It, it can. Uh, it can be really fun. I think the only problem is you have- there is some amount of back-end research that you have to do first. Uh, to really make it that good. But I would- I would say it's very relaxing and fun. Most Diablo likes end up being kind of in that vein of games that are- How you doing? Uh, a bit on the complex side if you- if you really get into them. But, as long as you vaguely know what you're doing, you can kind of just go. And enjoy yourself. See is that? That's probably fine. Oh right. We're trading things out. Now now that I'm thinking uh no, not quite. I was gonna say I could almost get lesser poison support. And a couple other greens, the multi projectile, but it, it won't work with the uh summon fat phantasm. Well, let's get rid of all of the spare things, at the very least. What about this? Oh, that's a dagger. Ooh. That... I can't do that. I do need... I need that dexterity. You get in there. I'm gonna get rid of that armor. I like the slots on it, but I don't think it's worth it. Let's see. Yeah, I might get one of those, like, premium quad tabs or whatever. Let's see. Also money. Let's see, we did get two Emperor's Luck. Five times currency. I generally don't know what that means. 
But that's probably fine. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Onwards. I guess honestly, we. <laughs> one thing I should probably do, seeing as I'm actually starting to really uh, collect games in life, uh, you know, I, I've been playing so many of them, I could actually probably start uh, putting together functional master lists of like, here's some really fan fantastic Metroidvanias that everybody should try. Here's a list of some really fantastic uh, Diablo clones that are really good. Locked door. So I'll have to write that off for a little while. A soldier in Black's journey is cut short at the foot of the tower. The flesh rots, but the bone grows yet. Now let's see. Turning a set of Emperor's Luck Divs card is a chance of almost any currency. Interesting. Uh... Because, so recently I finished putting up the entirety of my Axiom Verge playthrough. And I recently played through that ridiculous uh, Toho Luna Knights Metroidvania, and obviously Hollow Knight, and some other things. And, uh, especially if you can point to some less well-known games. Yeah, I'm working on that. I, I gotta, I gotta like, extend my list a little bit. Like, that's gonna be one of my goals for the next year. Oh, hello. A leader cannot simply stride forward into the future and expect his people to be able to follow. A leader must look over his shoulder so that he can witness and understand the consequences of the path he has chosen. To ensure that his people are still with him, to ensure that he has not become lost. Is that it? Precisely where he stands. That was it. That was kind of fun, easy. Okay, did we get the? Yeah, we did. All right. So now I have no idea where I'm going with my build again, but that's okay. That was worth it. Let's see, did I ever try Blackthorn? It was ages ago, but I remember that being a good one. No, I actually don't know if I've even heard of that one. Uh, is that a Metroidvania or a Diablo-like? <laughs> there's there's too many games that need to fit on these lists. I honestly... I, I'm wondering if I'm getting to the point where I need to make a second channel for the more, like, uh... Occasional content. Uh, kind of like Grump Out or, or whatever. For... Reviews and, like, guides and stuff, I don't think I'm gonna do them very often. But it would be kind of fun to do... Them here and there. Let's see. Oh, well, to the library? Probably go back to the... Here, let's go back here for a second. We want to go back to the docks and give... That one guy the thing. If your ti timing is off, that trial is horrible. I'm sure it gets much worse when you're actually doing the real thing. Uh, let's see, docks. Let's see, it's a Diablo like. No, I don't think I've I don't think I've ever heard of Blackthorn. Uh if you wanna send me a link to that. Uh or just I don't know, throw it at me. Bear craves. Look at the sheen on that plum. Is it not the most delectable fruit that you've ever seen? No. Perhaps the glass of hope is for my eyes only. Wondrous! Nothing bonds two souls more soundly than murder. For that reason alone, I knew you could be relied upon. Now, for a little amateur vintnering. A quick squeeze of the plum like so into the decanter. Oh my! Look how it transmutes the juice so swiftly from material to spectral. Effort. And what an aroma. Imminent death never smelled so sweet. 
I believe I shall call this fine concoction the Imperial Nightcap. Now, before I get too carried away, there's the small matter of your recompense. Oh, Swig of Hope Reward. Okay, so ring... Uh... Probably gonna keep trying to get those. A toast to swift endings and promising new beginnings. Oh, and you might want to avert your gaze once I have quaffed this diabolical brew. I doubt that my return to solidarity will be a pretty one. Right. As I used to say in the love dens of Trafus, bottoms up, girls. Oh, my. Now, that's an unusual sensation. I... Oh, dear. Something is amiss. The whole frame. It's... No. No, no, no. It's gone out. What am I... Well, rest in anchors. Boy, doomed to go wherever the winds blow him. Okay, you meant revenant. The covers look exactly the same, and you've been perpetually mixed in your head for twenty years. Uh, let's see. Cool. I'll add it to the list. I'm just gonna add a list. Uh, I'm just gonna make a list of. Yeah, I've never played Revenant. Uh, let's see. I'll add those to the list. Wander head to town, it's time to ascend. I was gonna hit up the library first. Well, I've got this map already explored. And then we can then we can start ascending. Let's see, Sacred 1 and 2 are good Diablo likes. Cool. And Wander, have you played Chronicon? I played Chronicon before it came out, actually. The developer was kind enough to send me a key years ago, and I haven't played it since. I did a one-off. I think... I did, like, a couple of episodes. It had some weird balancing issues. I think I'd originally thought it was going to be a, uh, a roguelike, and then it wasn't, and it kind of surprised me. It's actually on the list of games that I'd like to go back to. Um, God, I played that game when I was small. Like, I played that game when I had, like, a hundred or so subscribers. Um... I don't know if it's done yet. But it's that that one's uh on the list of games that I've I've been waiting for it to hit 1.0 for a while, but it's hard to keep track of them all. Um because once they hit 1.0, I will feel better about like playing them cuz it's kind of like, "Hey, this game's done." Uh there's actually a a tower defense game like that. I think I got a key for it like three years ago called Mars. Uh, I don't even remember what the uh, tagline for it was, but now it's like something base defense. Uh, but it looks really freaking cool. And I skipped on it when it first hit early access because I think I had assumed it was a different kind of game entirely. Yeah, it's almost done. Yeah. Uh, I'll Maybe I'll ping the developer at some point and just be like, yo... Uh, please email me when it's it's done done, and I will do a, a series on it. Let's see. Oh, right. It's not six, it's R. I don't know why I keep pressing six. Master's orders were clear. I am to wait here until his return. I cast my eyes to the horizon and see smoke billowing from sand. The city burns, and I fear my master burns with it. Yeah, Marzi is better now. Yep, and it'll be out more or less the day I get back from my trip. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that. And yeah, I'll definitely come back to Chronicon to actually, you know, try out the full version. Because... 
I... I mean, that game, that game has been in development for, what, four or five years? Like, that's one of those early access games I honestly thought was actually going to either be done by now, or the developer was just going to bail. Because uh, that's usually how it goes. Oh, yeah, there's no way I'm getting through that at this point. See, so Wonder, you have, of course, played Titan Quest, right? Yes. Uh, one of my fans uh, actually did a sponsored series for that. Uh, a long time ago. long time ago? About a year ago. Uh, and then he funded the uh, Doom series. <laughs> that Skeleton Beast hops out and then just... Nope. Volume 4, Friend in Need. It's one of those summer days in Sarn when the sweat dries on your skin like the, mom uh, the moment it dares slither from your pores. Lorenzi and I are sipping coffees, ice with cubes from the north. There's a tremor in his voice as he announces that he is going to see Malachi tonight. To have a gem implanted in his hand, the palm of his left hand to be exact. Once I've run out of expletives and paused for breath while the waiter wipes spilled coffee from our table, I managed to ask why. So then I might have the fastest fingers in the Empire, is his reply. Lorenzi, first violinist of the Sarn Symphonic, and my dear friend is going to become a gemling. Ten days pass and Lorenzi's hand is healed. He plays for me a piece that he has written during his convalescence, something he will debut in the evening at God's Theatre. The gem casts a bloody hue over his violin and his fingers fly across the strings. They're an ephemeral bl blur, too quick for I or mine to follow in the music. There's only one experience in my life that compares. The night I had with Marilyn before she died. It has been a month now, and once again Lorenzi and I sip iced coffees together in horrendous markets. But we only sit a narrow table apart. Lorenzi is a world away. The nightmares began a couple weeks back. He's always absent-mindedly with the vial that I have brought for him from the apothecary, yet... I know he won't drink from it. The soothing of his wits will mean the slowing of his fingers. The music is Lorenzi's life. And to Lorenzi, the music and the gem are one and the same. A year has gone. And the day is once again hot enough to dry the sweat on my skin the moment it dares slither from my pores. I sip an iced coffee and think of Lorenzi. He played last night in God's Theater. Fleet, furious, and wondrous. He was. We passed in the foyer, and I looked into his gray face, his pale blue eyes. I don't know what he saw, but it wasn't me. I don't know what I saw either, but it wasn't Lorenzi. Yeah, so the gems put into people's, uh, like actually implanted in people, drove them nutters. Keep seeing these skeletons along the way. It's amusing. Because I keep trying to shoot them, and then obviously fail miserably because I can't. Let's see. But now, I don't know, there's there's too many indie games. I I guess to go back to the Chronicon thing, it's also one of those uh, <laughs> that I'm, I'm mildly terrified of... Even like some of these games coming out of early access, because I've I've actually got two that I was planning on starting tonight. Uh, there there are two different games that I was planning on starting tonight. Uh, Quest Hunter, which I don't know I don't know if they'd be more than uh, one offs, but both seemed like neat games. Uh, it was like Quest Hunter, and I don't even remember the name of the other one. Both of which that had been in early access for a while. And, uh, and I don't have, I don't know if I'm going to have time for it. I'll, I'll fit it. I'll fit him in. I'll try. We'll see how it goes. I also like to see you give Assault Android Cactus plus a shot. Yes, I know it just hit, uh, Switch lately. I just have never had a copy and, I, I don't know. Maybe I'll get to play it with Shell. I, one thing I might do at some point is just do days where I just play one hour of an indie game and then just switch, regardless if I like it or not. And just because there's no way I can finish them all, but maybe I can play them for a little bit at least. Anywho, Siosa. Please, do not be alarmed. I am neither monster nor murderer, though that is the duality of existence that defines San these days. My name is Siosa Fuanga. And I have the bleak honor of being the sole scholar to the imperious intellection, this grand repository of knowledge you see about you. May reason preserve us. 
In more mundane circumstances, it would be preposterous to ask this of you, an utter stranger. But given that I don't know in which century I might see another pair of flesh and bone hands, I... there's a door, you see, concealed behind the shelves. It leads into the archives. That's where Isius Perandus concealed his golden pages. Can you see how maddening that would be for me? No, of course you can't. Ridiculous of me to... Suffice to say that they are beyond my reach. Four varlish texts they are of priceless historical insight. Please, find my friend's golden pages and bring them to me. You will be rewarded. I vow it before the ancestors. <laughs>